Lead a one-man revolution from your armchair Talking cliches to listeners that aren't there You call it warfare, but your wars aren't fair If they were, they'd be suicide bombers in arms fairs YouTube salute Here to talk about Patrice Lumumba The first prime minister of the independent nation The Republic of Congo If you're new to my channel, please Hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Okay, so Lumumba was born July 2nd, 1925 in Unalua, Asia province of the Belgian Congo. Just a primary education. Wow. Lumumba emerged to become one of Africa's most vocal um, critics of colonialism. Early in life, he developed interest in grassroots union activities and joined the Postal Union. As Secretary General of the Union, Lumumba began publishing essays critical of Belgium colonial rule and advocating independence in a unified, centralized Congo. His writings appealed beyond ethnic and regional loyalties to a national constituency. In 1955, Lumumba became regional leader of the Circle of Stanleyville and joined the Belgian Liberal Party. In 1956, he was arrested and charged with embezzling union funds, sentenced to two years imprisonment. Released after 12 months, Lumumba became sales director of a brewery in Leopoldville, solidified his political base. In 1957, Lumumba helped found a broad-based organization that appealed beyond ethnic and regional loyalties. Movement National Congolese. The following year, he represented the MNC at the Pan-African Conference in Accra, Ghana. His relentless attacks on Belgian rule soon fractured the MNC, <clears throat> resulting in leadership split in July 1959. Undaunted, Lumumba insisted on complete dismantling of Belgium rule. October 1959, he was arrested for allegedly cited anti-colonial riots and sentenced to six months. Shortly, shortly thereafter, the Belgian government summoned a conference in Brussels to discuss the future of the Congo. Confronted by the MNC threat of boycott, the government released Lumumba from Brussels. Lumumba boldly the damn Belgian rule and advocated immediate independence, events of the immense of Congolese freedom. Belgium set aside June 30th, 1960 as Independence Day. The movement national Congolese won the majority of the general election held in May 1960, and Lumumba became prime minister of the Congo with his political rival, Joseph Kasavupa, as president. Lumumba's denunciation of colonialism ruffled fetters not only in Belgium but also in the United States and Great Britain. Unfortunately, his tenure was brief and marred in crisis. It, it began with an army revolt session in Kantaka in southern Asia. When the United States ignored his repeated appeals for intervention, the movement turned to the Soviet Union. The move only strengthened Western opposition to his regime, but using the crisis as an excuse, Asavuva dismissed Lumumba as prime minister who reinstated by the National Assembly. Lumumba was subsequently overthrown by um, Colonel Joseph Mobutu, which was his best friend that betrayed him and snitched on him to the U.S. and in, um, in, in the U.K. In place under house arrest, he made uh, Faithful attempt to escape to Stanleyville where his supporters had gained control. He was apprehended um, and assassinated on January 18, 1961. Lumumba became a um, martyr and symbol of Congolese and African people. He is remembered today as one of the only handful of African leaders truly dedicated to national unity and genuine independence. In February 2002, responding to a Belgian Missions report that implicated Belgium in the movement's death. Belgium government acknowledged moral responsibility and officially apologized. I don't want the apology. The Mumba remains, excuse me, an inspiration to African um, politicians. 
several of the majority of poli uh, political parties in 2006 presidential election in the Congo invoke Mumba's legacy. Well, there you have it. Mumba, he's one of my favorite leaders of all time, Pan-Africanist. I have a picture of him hanging up in my house. He's done so much in one of his powerful speeches he's ever gave, addressing the, um, Belgium and letting them know that on our resources, you're going to have to pay us like everybody else. We're not giving nothing out for free. This is who we are. We need African unity. And the speech gave so many chills. Even Malcolm X said it gave him chills when he heard that speech. Well, post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support, donate to the channel. I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time. Peace.